that light just kills me when I turn on the flash. Um, to Xanax tonight so that I can be well rested for the concert tomorrow. I'm very much looking forward to it. I've been YouTubing OAR and finding a bunch of other songs that I forgot they sang. They really are an underrated band. And I'm so glad that I decided to get tickets to go see them. It's it's going to be the high point of my week. Um, today I've been realizing that I'm kind of doing foolish things. And uh, I need to stop doing foolish things. I need to remember who I am and be myself. Stop chasing things that might not be for me. That's what the Xanax is telling me to do anyways. Um, I had a lovely, lovely trip to the veterinarian today. Uh, as we exited the gate to get into the car, Jadwin ripped the leash out of my hand. So I had to put B. Arthur in the car and start yelling, Jan, Jadwin, I'm going to fucking kill you! And uh, I know the neighbors enjoy it when I go on one of my festive rants. But he he made it to the neighbor's yard. I had to run over and get him because he was looking for those feral cats. And I'm glad he didn't find one because they probably would have messed him up. I remember the cat that I took in many, many, many years ago and she tore the heck out of Bud. My poor buddy. He hated the cat. And Somehow she got out of her cage and they got into a horrible fight one night and she tore his ears to shreds. She was covered in blood and it was all Buddy's blood. None of it was hers. She was a badass cat and I just lost her last year. No, 2017. Because I remember I lost her right after I had my surgery. And I had to go to the veterinarian with a drain hanging out of my shirt. And I, I mean, I tucked it in as best as I could. But you could tell that there was a little bulb of fluid hanging from my shirt. And I, I was telling the vet, I'm like, I just had surgery. And he goes, like, just now? I go, well, no, like two days ago. Um. But at that point, Dad wasn't functioning real well, so Dad wasn't going to take the cat to the vet. <sighs> so, yeah, that was fun. But they got their nails done, and it worked out nice. And um, so that was a high point of my day. Had a low point of my day, too. <laughs> my, my trip to Prince Edward Island has been canceled. Why? Because Air Canada doesn't fly the day that I need to fly. So I have no way off the island. So I'm better about that. I really, really wanted to see the Anne of Green Gables house. And they're giving me a partial refund right now, but I'm not done fighting that. Um, the only good news about that is when I get that money... I can pay my dad's car off and drive it legally. So I guess there have been some good things. But the bad things. The, I think they'll work themselves out. I think God is still figuring out what he wants me to do with that little problem. And I think he'll show me something at some point. And... And then I'll have resolution, I guess. I'm I'm one of those people who wants resolution right now, immediately must have it. But that's not how life works. Thanksgiving is next week. I will be going to Rhonda's house for like an hour. And uh hour or two, have some turkey and ham. 
the first year without Dad. Dad looked awful last year when I took him. He was hiding how sick he was from me because I'm also sick. And last year I was a real mess for a while before my meds started to kick in and do their job. I mean, I was tired. I could barely walk. And just horrible. So me and Dad were both like zombies walking in like, oh. But that's when things started to go downhill. And so uh, I just got a weird text. I don't know who it's from, so I'm going to have to look at it. It says, Mom told me something. It's probably Drew because he's my lawn boy. He's a good kid. Jen doesn't watch my YouTube, so she doesn't know how much I appreciate her children. But he's a good kid. They, I'm always happy that my friends, all my friends, are raising good kids. Because so many kids nowadays are awful. But they're good. They're, they're nice. They're kind. And they help me with my issues. So, um, B is passed out right next to me, and I'm about to pass out myself. I'm going to OAR. Remember, folks, it's general admission. You can still buy tickets and come sit with me and Stephanie in the handicap section because I get a chair since I can't stand for long periods of time. So I'm getting a chair. Hopefully it's going to be right by the stage. And then the band will be like, oh, look, there's a handicapped person. Let's give them some extra love. Maybe give me a drumstick or a guitar pick. I'm such an idiot. Over so many things. But I'm learning. And I'm learning to realize that maybe I'm doing too much. I'm being vague about this problem I'm having, but it'll work itself out. And I need to just remember that I'm myself. I'm myself. Ooh, that's stupid. But I remember who I am. Be strong, and I'll get through it. That's how I always do it. Check out the OAR song, I Go Through check it that'll tell you how I do alright everyone you have an excellent night I'll try not to babble for a million minutes tonight I'm going to go to bed because i got to go into the office tomorrow I'm going to be dressed up too because why not it's a party but Definitely changing for the concert into jeans and a more appropriate t-shirt. Well, we'll see you all tomorrow. Y'all have a good night.